times are. In May of 1930, the administration had to cut faculty salaries by 10 percent. Teachers of voice and instrument were given no salary and asked instead to charge the students directly for music lessons for their own compensation. Eventually, no salaries at all could be paid. And for many months and even years, faculty accepted fruit from the Rio Grande Valley Orchard and gifts of food from local churches to exist. It all came to a head in the SBC Executive Committee meeting in Nashville, September 1930. Dismal financial reports given by all the convention agencies. Listen to Gain Dobbins' story. Report after report of the convention's boards and agencies indicated practical bankruptcy. At length, Dr. L. R. Scarborough, president of Southwestern Seminary, arose and choking with emotion said, in effect, brethren, we're through at Southwestern. For two years, we haven't paid faculty salaries. We have nothing with which to meet expenses. Our percentage of the allocation will not see us through another year. Here's my resignation. I turn over to you the seminary property. You'll have to sell it to pay our debts, and Southwestern will go out of existence. There was stunned silence. We sat in tears. Then Dr. Sampy, the president of Southern Seminary, arose, drummed with his fingers on the table in characteristic fashion. He said, in effect, I may lose my job for what I'm about to say, but Southern Seminary has some income from endowment on which we can live. I move that Southern Seminary's apportionment of the budget be cut and the difference given to Southwestern. Southern Seminary gave its money to help Southwestern keep going. Russell Hooper Dildy was an American pastor, educator, seminary president, and chancellor of the B. H. Carroll Theological Institute. He is best known for his tenure as president of Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary until his abrupt dismissal in 1994 during the Southern Baptist Convention Conservative Resurgency. He served as president of Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary starting in 1978. During his 16th year tenure, the seminary annual enrollment exceeded 5,000 students, making it the largest American theological education history. In 1990, Christianity Today released a poll of its readers ranking the effectiveness of American seminaries. Southwestern Seminary was ranked number one among the top 33 graduate theological schools in the nation. Dilly was fired in March 1994 by what had become a majority conservative learning board of trustees in a 26-7 vote during the Southern Baptist Convention conservative resurgency. Dilday described the resurgency as having fragmented Southern Baptist Fellowship and as being far more serious than controversy. Dilday described it as being a self-destructive, contentious, one-sided thread that at times took uncombative characteristics. May his soul rest in peace. 